Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose and the moose is loose. What we're going to do right now is show you how to provide liquidity or yield farm using ViFi. So ViFi is a new DEX that has come out in the past month and I think they're doing a fantastic job. I also did a video, an interview with Stephen Ward. He is the CEO of the platform. He has some pretty cool insights. This interview is premiering on Monday the 19th. So in one day, um, by the time you're watching this, the video should already be out. So subscribe to Crypto Moose and you will see that video right there on the channel. So what I'm trying to do in this video in particular is I'm trying to document what I've been up to and why. So let's just have a conversation. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this video. We are going to show you how to yield farm and we're going to do this in real time. But I want to get into why I'm doing what I'm doing. Everybody's mindsets and goals are different. So what I'm going to do is just take you through what I'm doing in real time. So right now it's 2.27 2 a.m. So it's pretty late Sunday night. And I just finished a couple of videos for my video production business. And now I feel like doing some videos because it's relevant. So if we take a look at my portfolio right here, um, I've got quite a bit of ADA and I've taken some, some assets, specifically my meld. I've, I'm holding basically all my meld on my Trezor, which is connected to my NAMI. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanted to get as much ADA out as possible because I'm delegating to the Dega one. So this is a great opportunity for you all as well. So if you haven't already, check out this Dega ISPO. A, an ISPO is an initial stake pool offering. It gives you the ability to earn Dega, in this case, by delegating to the Dega one. Check out the video. And it's a great way for the project to build funds to work on their project and grow. And you, for providing or delegating to their pool, you will be rewarded in their token before it gets um, out to the public and on DEXs and you're going to get it at a much cheaper price and also um, this project can do really well. I, I'm quite bullish. So the, in a nutshell, that's what an ISPO is. Instead of earning ADA by delegating, you are going to earn DEGA and I, I think it's a great opportunity, not financial advice, but I'm doing it. I'm going to try to hold at least 7,000 ADA for that and you also get a bonus by holding 3,200 meld or 1,700 kopi, okay? So I'm going to try not to get sidetracked too much. Let's get into the video. So the reason being that I pulled out of my kopi on MinSwap and why I'm taking a look at BiFi is because the APR is much higher. So if we take a look here, this is, a, this is about 68%. So let's just call it 70%. You will earn in BiFi compared to, I believe, 28 or 29% you would earn on min. So that's a big difference. That's a 50% difference, um, right? Um, if, if not more. So uh, it's, it's a two times difference in terms of reward. And the other thing is, if you haven't checked out the video, I already have it out. I just provided more liquidity to my ADA min. And my thing is, I believe in ViFi. I like the project. I like the founders. And I'd like to earn some more BiFi. And if I'm going to earn a 70% APR versus 28%, it's a no-brainer. So the other thing I wanted to mention is take a look at what the APRs are. Okay. So for example, let's take a look at Snack. You can get 132% VIFI APR. But one thing you have to remember is the LP provider fees seem kind of high. Um, 31%. And you always want to remember that if these projects pump, you want to be able to get out. So I never recommend you never to put in 100% unless you're just going to hold long term. Like if you're staking ADA, it's different than staking or providing liquidity with Kopi or Meld and trying to do that long term. Because let's be honest, if Kopi goes from two cents to a dollar, you should probably sell. And you don't want to have all your funds locked in here. Snack, I don't think it's safe to have long term. But if you believe in it long term, sure, get that 100% after a year. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. 
So here's another one, Iagon, 38% FiFi. So if we take a look at my wallet, and this is very meticulous um, to my particular situation. I have no Wi-Fi. I think I have a bit on one of my other wallets or accounts. So let's take a look here. Yeah, I've got like 14, 15 Wi-Fi, not a lot. So what I'm going to do, what my plan is, and this is different for everybody, we're gonna do a quick refresh. Comment down below if you agree or not. But for me, I want to have Wi-Fi and pair it with ADA and get this 84%. That is sexy to me, right? That's like being on set with Margot Robbie, first day of the, Mar or the Barbie shoot. Like, that's where you want to be, right? Like, this is, this is hanging out with Supergirl, first day on set, before she's flying around. That's where you want to be. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leverage what I already have. So let's say you have a lot of snack and you think it's going to be fine. Maybe try to get that APR. So Ada Meld right here, 48% um, Wi-Fi. Not bad, but I have a ton of Kopi and Meld. So if we take a look at the Ada Kopi, you're looking at 68%. I will earn Wi-Fi primarily. I'll earn a little bit of Kopi, but I want to get that Wi-Fi so that I can then push it towards this. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what makes sense to me. So we're gonna add liquidity. We're not gonna do a lot because I'm in the ISPO. Again, it, you have to calculate these things, right? Look at your situations. So because as well, I do not want to sell any of my ADA, I have a different idea. I have a different idea. So what we can do is zap. So. Now, if we go to Kopi, what we can do, if we were to do max and we would select our LP, we would get this much in return. So we would get, what is that, like 10, almost 10 million LP tokens. Now, by zapping, what it's going to do is take our Kopi, sell, and or basically swap and get half of that value in ETA. So I wouldn't do max because I actually want to own a lot of Kopi because if it ever goes to a buck, I got 50 grand, right? So that's kind of my thinking. So these are things I've been thinking about. Again, comment down below if you guys agree. You know, let me know if you enjoy this kind of, you know, real life uh, experience right here. So that's what we're doing. We're just having fun with this. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm willing to lose maybe 5,000 Kopi in, in the sense that I would be swapping it. So we're gonna zap, because I wanna keep all my ADA. It's important for delegating. What I'm gonna do is take, I don't know, let's say 10,000 Kopi, okay? Just because I wanna start earning some Wi-Fi. And we're going to confirm this. So what we're gonna do basically is provide 5,000 Kopi and the rest of that amount will be in ADA without us having to provide any ADA. If we were to just add the liquidity, it would be different. So we're gonna sign this transaction, okay? And zapping's a great way, so you don't need any ADA um, or to sell off any. This is a great option if you already have the amount that you need. So let's sign this transaction, it's showing me 10,000. I'm using my Trezor Model T for reference so you guys know. So we're gonna let this go. We're gonna let this go and then I eventually we should see it here. So if we go to our transactions here, recent transactions, we can see this happening right here, okay? So we're just gonna chill for a little minute here. And if we take a look, we're not changing the amount of ADA. And what I could have done is say, take 10,000 Kopi and then pair it up with like, you know, a thousand ADA or whatever the amount would be but I wanna keep as much ADA as I can. It depends on your situation. It depends on what you're trying to do, right? So that's what we're doing there. And what else can we do? I also wanna, I want you to take a look and maximize on my, uh, my Iagon. So Iagon, I own some of that. Let's do the same thing. So we're going to add liquidity. Instead of taking our ADA, we're just gonna zap. Okay, and I'm doing small amounts. It depends on, on your situation, what you're looking to do. 
But I figure, why not try to earn a little more of that FIFI? So what I'm going to do, instead of taking 39,000, what I'm going to do is just hit that zap, right? So I'm going to take just a small amount. We're just going to do a bit. Uh, we'll do 9,000. I, I don't think that will be a lot, but it's fine. So we'll do E to Iagon. Maybe we'll do more than that. Because we're going to have to sell off some of that. Let's do like half, which would be, well, like 18,000, 20,000 almost. So let's just do 19,000. I really like the even numbers, if you can't tell. So let's do this. And instead of my Iagon just sitting there and doing nothing and collecting dust, well, I guess it wouldn't be dust, but anyways, what we're going to do is just sign another transaction. So what it's going to do is basically provide half of the Iagon, and then it's going to pick up some ADA for us. So again, instead of us having to sell, or in this case, just provide any ADA, we can just provide this LP instead. So let's go to home. Let's see if any of this has updated. So again, we're not losing very much ADA, just the transaction costs. So if we look at our copy, you can see that we've lost 10,000 copy. So now if we go to your farms, we'll toggle under um, farms only. Sorry. So we'll go your farms. We won't see anything yet. But if we go to home, we're going to find our ADA copy. Okay. So we're just gonna wait for these transactions. So it looks like this one finished. So we have our ADA copy. So if we go to home, and we can go under DEX, your liquidity. So there we go. So now, if you take a look, we've got 4,988 pooled copy, and we've got 533 in ADA. So we've provided ADA without having to provide any extra ADA. So really, we sold off half of what we had for our Kopi and our Iagon. So I hope that makes sense. So if we take a look at our wallet, we should see some of our Iagon leave as well. So now you can see our LP here. Okay. So we've got uh, much less Iagon and we've got a little less Kopi. So I wanted to keep a lot of Kopi. But again, we want to pick up some of these uh, rewards, right? That, that's what we're ultimately trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. So if we go to home, and this is what I like up top. This is what I like a lot about Vi5, is that you can see our estimate daily rewards. So our estimate is 1.35 Vi5 every day. So this works in Epoch. Um, and Epoch is, in this case, every day. I believe it should say up here, but with Cardano, it's every five days. So that's definitely really cool. So um, how much ADA did we have to have in total for that? So if we go to your farms, we can see everything here. We will go to details. So by the way, if you're looking to yield farm, that's how you do it. And in my opinion, this is the easiest way, most cost effective way, and you're getting generous APRs. So again, our goal is to accumulate as much Wi-Fi using the Wi-Fi, and then we can then use Wi-Fi to earn even more Wi-Fi. So that's what we're going to do. We're, we're trying to accumulate Wi-Fi, at least for me, that's what I'm trying to do. Because I don't really have a lot, and I do believe in the project, and I might as well, instead of having to sell off my ETA, because I'm trying to earn as much as I can in this ISPO to pick up Dega, and yeah, that, that's basically what we're doing here. So we didn't really touch any of our ADA just for transaction history. So if we take a look, um, we go to our detailed harvest, we can see that we will have pending in our estimates. So estimate daily, we will be earning roughly, from our ADA copy, we will be earning roughly one by five daily, and then 0 0.56 copy, okay? And then what we can do as well, which is really cool, is when we harvest, meaning we we take those pending rewards, we are going to, sorry, we take our available rewards, I believe it is. Um, anyways, 
at the end of a month or six months, a year, you can just take those with one transaction and you can do multiple farms. So we can harvest both of these, um, which is pretty cool. So again, this is ViFi. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to playing more with ViFi. There's so much more to cover. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We also have a coupon code in the link in the description below. It will get you up to 90% off our three-in-one crypto and NFT masterclass. I worked hard on this course. It's over seven hours of content. You get a certificate of completion. You get lifetime access. You learn all the following right here, how to set up wallets, sell, steak, yield farm. You learn all the basics to take you from beginner to pro with everything crypto and NFT. So with that being said, the moose is loose. We'll see you all in the next one.